special guest, and this is, of course, a very special, special uh, event for not just in the Sun construction, but for India as Mumbai gets the band of early ceiling. Thank you very much for joining us. It's certainly a huge moment for you, but it's also a big landmark in India's infrastructure story. How do you view the completion of this whole thing now? Well, I think it's a, it's a great moment. It's a great moment of pleasure that we, after many challenges, have been able to to come to this day that this Sea Link is now being inaugurated. It's also been a great privilege to get the opportunity to build something like this. Uh, it's not only going to be very useful for the citizens of Mumbai, but it's also a landmark project that's going to show the next picture postcard of Mumbai. What do you think is, so if you turn back time for us a little bit, when did this whole idea come up? How did it start? For those of our viewers who've been seeing this in an upcoming stage for so long, Again, like I said, it's a landmark. It's finally going to happen. How did it all begin? Well, it all began with Bombay started getting congested. It didn't have enough roads. The, the, the suburban railway system already overstrained. So you needed more linkages that take people from the southern part of Mumbai to the northern and bring it back. So an idea of a West Island freeway and a East Island Freeway with connections in the beam have been thought of. And so the West Island Freeway began from Bandra to Worli as its first link. And it's going to go all the way to Hajiali, Nepinsi Road. And there are some two alternate routes. One is underground to Nariman Point. The other is around Governor House, which I personally do not subscribe to. And similarly, they want to build another road which will go over Ray Road and take you across to Seabury. Right. and then link these. So this has been a grand design of trying to link Bombay by a, a road, a motorway okay. within the city. Right. And given the, given the congestion in the island, the sea link was the best way to do it. And that's how it came about. When one looks at this, this is obviously just the phase one of the entire story. Yeah. How do we see some of the challenges that might have been learning steps for not just SEC but also the infrastructure uh, sector itself? of um, yeah. this particular band of early ceiling. But whenever you beat, do get a mega project, in which this was described by the, even the right. Discovery Channel as a mega project of the world, you get mega problems and you yes. get challenges. Yes. So there is a lot of learning to be had from this project in terms of how to deal with environmental issues, how to deal with people that get affected by the bridge, how to look at what the beneficiaries want.